What's up, people? It's your boy, Sun Twisted. Welcome to PC Central and the very, very overdue, long awaited impression video of Killzone 3. And I'm actually going to try, try to do something new here. I'm actually going to do this Killzone 3 commentary while playing Bad Company 2. So hopefully, I can keep my attention on this commentary and not venture off into some uh, some mindless blatherings. And before I get into this, I actually want to um, give a, I don't want to say a shout out, but say rest in peace to Nate Dog who passed this week. And, you know, have a little moment of silence for Nate Dog and all the people who, who died in the tsunami in Japan. You know, all the people who died in 9-11, the earthquake in Haiti, the flood in New Orleans. So we're going to have a moment of silence before I continue with this commentary. Alright, so uh, getting into Killzone 3. Um, firstly, like I said in the, the demo review, the graphics look amazing. Amazing, you know, the sound is crazy. The sound is probably the best thing in that game. Amazing sounds and... The sound quality, the the weapons and you know the gun sounds and all that explosions, very immersive. Um, could be a little deafening too if you don't if you don't watch the volume, especially with the surround sound headset on. But done very well. The single player campaign is fun as hell. If you haven't if you have a PS3 and you haven't played Killzone, I would recommend picking it up, at least renting it and, and playing it through. Um, certain parts were a little bit frustrating, but again, I did make a, I don't want to say, not a promise, but I did state in a few commentaries back that from now on I will be playing all my games on the hardest difficulty, and I did play Killzone on the hardest difficulty that was available with the game, so certain parts were frustrating simply because the difficulty setting that it was on, and you know, in retrospect, maybe I shouldn't have made that statement before I played Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. Because that is going to be a bitch trying to play that on the hardest difficulty. Huh. But anyway, the gameplay is fun as hell. Graphics good, the sound is good. You know, immersive, I got into it, had a lot of fun. The multiplayer, I haven't really played too much. Um, doesn't seem like a lot of people are actually playing the multiplayer and not a lot of people on my friends list actually picked it up um i did play it a little bit it's fun also it's not as frustrating as what was happening in the demo it seems like a lot of that that stuff that i was complaining about people aren't doing it as much in the demo but that's for me i know go pervert actually told me it seems like it's happening to him more in the real game than in the demo but from my own personal experience it has calmed down so it's actually is fun to play um Supposed to actually get in a game night with it. I don't know when Foof is going to actually do that Killzone game night. So I can see what it's like to actually play with a room full of people for a couple of hours and, and really get a feel for it. But so far, I don't have a problem with it. It's cool. It's fun. You know, the the map design I don't have a problem with. Um, you know, some, some of these unlocks. The only thing, I, I still don't understand the, you know, the points, like how you unlock points to purchase stuff like what is the the criteria for it but again I don't I haven't played the online too much um, probably the only the only real gripe I have with Killzone is the fact that there is no online co-op in the campaign there is campaign co-op but it's local only there is online multiplayer so I don't understand why they couldn't have put an online co-op you know in the game because the days of you going over to a friend's house sitting side by side and playing a game on a split screen is over that's that's done with the advent of Xbox Live and PlayStation Network all that stuff is out the window nobody plays like that anymore so why why they would choose to do that baffles me you know especially since a lot of like for the most part the people that are on my friends list very few of them, I can't even say very few of them, probably 
but yeah, very few of them do I actually know, you know, in real life. So, I wouldn't even be able to, to go over to, to people's houses and, and play with them. And then some of them aren't, aren't even in the same country that I'm in. I mean, from the people that I see on my friends list who have it, other than Gopaverta, you know, it's like Guns and Predator Chasm. I'm not going all the way to New Zealand to 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 sit side by side with Garns to play on a split screen. That's not happening. So, you know, things like that is just it's ridiculous to me. I I don't understand why they do. I don't understand why why any of these first person shooters are not allowing multiplayer co-op. I don't I I don't understand that at all. And then the ones that put it in, it's local only yet. It's I I don't know what it is. If it's trying them trying to save on bandwidth or or you know cut keep the cost down by doing that, I don't know what it is. It's stupid to me. If you're gonna put it in there, put it in the right way. Or don't put it in at all. I don't you know, from watching Go play it, it looked like it was a lot of fun, but that fun is not gonna be experienced because he even I think he even said he's getting rid of kill zone, so I'm not I won't even get the chance to go do that. And even if I wanted to do that, I gotta troop all the way to Queens to go do that and then you know time you know schedule conflicts get in the way of that so that that is my only gripe with Killzone it's a fun game I played it through start to finish had a lot of fun I'm gonna go back and replay it again actually on a lesser difficulty just so you know this time the first time around it was serious business trying to get it done this time around I'm gonna actually go play and have fun and do stupid shit that I wouldn't have done the other time with it, but a lot of fun. Suggest you guys pick it up. And um, I know I I was supposed to put this video out a while ago. Procrastination. What do you want? Um, next video is going to be Bullet Storm. I kind of dread doing the Bullet Storm commentary. The the footage is captured. I actually don't even have Bullet Storm anymore. Um. I didn't purchase it. I rented Killzone and Bulletstorm. I already sent Bulletstorm back. Didn't beat it. But I'll explain all of that to you in the Bulletstorm commentary. And, oh shit, Belf is in here. Um, so shout out to Killer Belf. Just joined my Battlefield game. And, yeah, that's all I have to say about Killzone 3. Fire, go check it out if you haven't. I'm going to get into it a little bit more and then probably send it back and, and see what Homefront is about. Even though I know I won't be able to really play much of it. Because I'm not buying that online pass and I'm not buying that shit new. But uh, catch you on the next video. It's your boy Sun Twisted. I'm out. Peace!